In early 2020, I shot this video about utilizing Google Sheets as a CRM or a customer relationship management system. And since then, it has gained over 20,000 views. And not a day goes by that I'm not mentioned in a comment somewhere or someone messages me asking, am I still using this system? So I thought I would do an updated video for you today to show you exactly how I'm using this now pretty much three years later, which is the longest that I have stuck with the same follow-up system. Now, before we jump into the spreadsheet, just know that there are some chapters down below if you want to skip ahead to any point, you can always do that. But first, the main reason why I decided to use a spreadsheet was Back in 2019, I started noticing that there were columns that were missing and they have since been brought back within my back office, but there were other cracks. I couldn't find specific orders or specific people in specific places in my back office. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and keep something external. And it honestly started because I wanted one key place that I could access all of my customers' data to make it really easy to mail merge for my monthly postcards. Since then, this spreadsheet has grown into a beast. I track everything with this spreadsheet. How many orders someone has placed, the samples that I have sent them, literally every single sample I have sent them, because the last thing I wanna do is send someone a sample and say, hey, that purple sample that you sent me last April, I remember liking that. Can you tell me what that was? I'd be like, you know what? I do, I have it in my spreadsheet. I have their address, their phone number, their email, how they prefer to be contacted. At one point I was tracking if they were in my customer group or not, but I've stopped tracking that. But I also track literally how much they spend every single month. I track what they buy every single month. I also track how that order came to me. Was it from my email? Was it from a post that I did? Was it from a story that I did? Where did this come from? Maybe it was from one of the flash sales or maybe it's one of our monthly subscriptions. I wanna know where these things are coming from so that way I know that this marketing over here is working and this one over here is not. Now, another thing that my spreadsheet does is it runs all kinds of calculations. It lets me know who my top customers are by quarter, by year, by catalog season, so that way I can recognize them appropriately. And it also has how much they've spent within the entire year, and then I can see the dollar amount that they would have earned if they would have started their own business, which is a great conversation starter. And the Mac daddy of everything with this is that it tracks their packages. So once I see that it has shipped from my back office, I can pull that link, put it in my spreadsheet. There's a free add-on that you can utilize and it'll tell you where it is in the process. If it has just started, if it's on the FedEx truck, if it's being delivered, and if it's been delivered, it's gonna tell you every step of the way so you know when you should start following up. All right, let's jump into the spreadsheet. Now, before we jump into my spreadsheet, I wanna make sure you know that if you end up liking this and you want to use this for your business as well, you can utilize this free template. It's gonna be down below in the description. You can have it, it's free. Uh, but that way you can play with this and you can make it your own. You can add columns, you can delete columns, but this specific sheet can be yours. Now, before we head over to my sheet, you have to promise me that you won't get overwhelmed. There's a lot of information here in a lot of different colors, lots of moving pieces. So just stick with me, I promise. This is probably gonna be one of the simplest things that you do for a CRM. So this is my spreadsheet. All the way on the far left, we have their order date, their last order date. Now I color it whenever I have sent them a sample. So that way I know that they're done. They're good to go. So I can see that these first four people, I still need to send them a thank you, right? A happy mail. And then right here, the number is how many orders they have placed. So we can see 11, 11, 31. So that way I know like this is a, this is a tried and true customer. And there's other ways that you can see that as well, but I kind of want to keep track. But you can also see that there are some ones that are pink and white. This is to let me know that these customers who say one, they haven't ordered in over a year. So these people are coming back after seeing one of my emails. Now the next column is gonna be their first name and last name. And you can see right up here, I have hidden the last name, but we have the first name. 
Now, anytime I get a new to me customer, I highlight them in orange just so I know, and I also highlight their order as well. Next column is the sample sent. Now, this might look like gibberish to you, but honestly, it's just abbreviations of what I sent them. I know what it means, so you just have to use what you will remember. Now, the next three columns is an add-on called package tracker. I did a video in the past and the script doesn't work anymore, but this one is amazing. It has been working for at least a couple of years now and it's called package tracker. You're just going to come up to extensions, add-ons, and then right here, it's just called package tracker. It's free if you're tracking 10 or less packages. If you're going to want to track more than 10 packages at a time, it's $10 a month. Now, I go ahead and pay for that because I end up tracking a lot of packages at once, which you'll see in just a minute. It has been very valuable. And of course it is a tax write-off. So in this column, the tracking column, we have their tracking number. The next column is going to be the status. And this is all of part of that add-on. Once you copy that template and you add that add-on package tracker, everything will work for you. The only problem is it doesn't track on track. So like FedEx, UPS, there's a brand called OnTrack. It doesn't do that. So as long as you have the link to the tracking link here, I can just click it and I can see if it has been shipped and I can put the date here. And then of course it lets me know once it's been delivered. Now you can see I have some hidden columns here. This is where all of their information lives, their address, their phone number, their email. I normally keep that hidden unless I have someone new and I'm gonna add it in. But these next column pretty much is similar to a follow-up system. Now, normally I will drop them into a project broadcast delivery campaign. And the campaign has all of these texts in it. But sometimes that delivery, I want to say something special. Like I want to say, did X, Y, and Z make it okay? Like very specific with their order, or maybe it's a more of a personal connection. I normally do that. So I put them in a one week campaign. So once it's been delivered, I have an idea here of when I need to send them a message. So anything that's past due, I have conditional formatting to where it tells me, hey, this is past due, you gotta do it like these right here. And if it's yellow, that means that it's supposed to happen today. But if you can see all of these blank spaces, all of these people are already my project broadcast, so I don't have to worry about them. The only people that I have to worry about with follow up is any new orders, taking them out of that delivery campaign and then putting them back in once their order is delivered. All right. So if we kind of scroll over, we get to see the meat and potatoes. This is where I track literally everything. And I go backwards. So I put the most current month at the very beginning. So we can see January and it goes backwards, January, December, November, October. And then you can also see that there are notes, these little triangles. The triangles let me know exactly what they ordered. I paste everything multiple orders, I will do that. So if this person orders more than once, I will just do some dashes and then paste it above the dashes right here so that I can delineate between two different orders. Then once we get past all of the months and all of the orders, we get into those formulas. So I have the year to date, the quarters, how much money they would have made if they would have been a consultant, and then as well as how much they spend per catalog season. And then if there were any notes. So if I have a customer who's like, I really missed out on, you know, something very specific, I can do a quick search. So if we have some of a flash sale and these things come up in this sale, I can utilize the find function and I can find exactly what I'm looking for. But that is basically it as far as a follow-up system goes. Now, everything that's all the way to the right, this is just kind of like a legend for me to know what's going on over here. Now, one question that I get a lot with this is, how do I populate all this information in? And there are a lot of different ways. So if you think of a better way, definitely do that. But the most effective way that I have found to ensure that I do not miss anyone or anything is honestly to put them in one by one. And I know if you want to export something and then compile it and put it in that way, go for it. But for me, going in one person at a time was the best way and I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss a subscriber. I didn't miss people who were like in a party underneath one person. So that's honestly the best way for me. Now, as of today, this only takes me maybe two minutes to update every single morning. And that's if I had an order yesterday. So I always sit down here and I look and see, okay, who do I need to follow up with? Do I want to start this today? Do I not want to start this today? But once it's done, it's done. So before I close out, I definitely want to show you a couple of other ways that I use this. I like to keep track of, like I said, everything. I want to know my cart size. I want to know how many new customers I had. I want to know how many customers I had period in a month. So I'll normally take my average, like my cart size. And the way to do that, you can do the average. I'm going to choose everyone in January. 
and we'll do the close parentheses and return. And so here I can see that my average cart size was 73. So that's my average cart size per person. So I'll take that information and I'll put it over in my monthly numbers, which is right down here and I keep track of everything. Just have a really good idea of forecasting for the next month or even for the next year. I have numerous years worth of data in the monthly numbers. But let me show you how I keep track of my prospects and my parties. So real quick, this is really simple. So if I have someone that I've mentioned the opportunity to, I just list them over here and mention it. And I use notes to document the dates that we had a conversation. And then if someone is interested in one of my no out of pocket host kits, I put them here. So that way I know when I have my next one, I know who to offer it to. And then right here, I have this person who wanted an affiliate link so that way she could collect orders before she started her business. And I just kind of move them out. So let's just say Mason wanted to come over here. I can easily move. The last thing I want to show you is my parties. This is again, whoop, we have an error, but you can see that I also use the package tracker here. So I document when they requested their party pack, who they are, what's the party, if I friended them, if I've sent them a text, if they said they were interested in booking a party, if they booked a party, if they were interested in the opportunity, and if they joined. And then I have their package tracking for their catalog that I sent them. And I also have their order total. And then I have the overall party total. But that is it. If you guys have any questions about anything within the spreadsheet, please just leave it down below in the comments. And don't forget, you can grab this spreadsheet for free down below in the description of this video. If you like this video, if you got some value, definitely hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time I put out a new video. And I'll see you next time.